am I too white to be your pastor? No. No, you're not too white to be my pastor. Not at all. No. I don't care if you're pink like that guy over there. You know what I'm saying? My pastor's white. So we're here uh, talking about racial diversity in the church. Am I too white to be your pastor? Well, I actually go to your church, so, and I enjoy the services. I think we've gotten that, that far into American society where color really isn't a dividing barrier. Um, no, like, what, 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 what would make you too white to be my pastor? You're definitely not too white. You are my pastor. Oh, I am your pastor. Honestly, when it comes down to spirituality, it has no color. I think for like my generation, I don't think that's like too much of an issue. No, I don't think so. Am I too white to be your pastor? No. Why not? Because it doesn't make a difference what color you're on. Uh -huh. So you would have no problem going to a church with a white pastor? No. In fact, I just go to one where my pastor is white and most of the congregation is Chinese already. So. If I were to walk into your church, would I describe your church as a mostly a black church or would I say it diverse? You would say that it's predominantly black. Predominantly black. And, and is it because that represents the community you live in, or that's just who's gathered there? That is just who is gathered there. It does not represent the community. And do you uh, go to a church with, uh, that's mostly Hispanic? Yeah, pretty much. Typically African American. Because I've been in a church that's predominantly white all my life. So the, your church experience up to this point has been mostly in African American churches? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Born and raised in the Pentecostal church. Yes. Actually, my church is mostly white, and we had a white minister, and we probably had about two black people, maybe a couple Hispanic of some sort. Would you ever find yourself going to an all-black church with a black pastor? Um, I definitely wouldn't have a problem going to one. Uh, I haven't exactly seen one before, uh, personally, but uh, I mean, if that was the one in the area and my family wanted to go to it, I sure wouldn't have a problem going to one. As you think about it, as you look on Sunday morning at 11 o'clock, it's the most segregated hour amongst any other time during the week. Uh, why is that? Can't answer that question. Maybe it's a cultural thing or maybe it's just like the way humans are. <laughs> comfortable stepping out of their comfort zone. I have no clue, I honestly can't. I honestly can't answer that question because I really don't know. Why Sunday so segregated? Hmm, I don't know. You know, maybe everyone's a little bit racist, you know, but you can't be racist all the time, I mean. All right, all right. <laughs> Reggie Slater, played with the NBA, been friends uh, for nearly 10 years. Lord bless me, I played uh, professional ball for 10 years. Right now I'm happily married, four kids, um, businesses, and busy. Reggie, tell me about your church background here in I grew up on the northeast part of Houston, uh, a section of the city called Cashmere Gardens. Uh, I think I met my first white person when I was an, uh, a teacher in, in high school. I went to an all-black church. Uh, it was a church, as far as the only church I knew. I mean, it was a, uh, this is what my church was. I mean, we went probably there Wednesdays, Wednesday nights, and I was in the choir, so, you know, I probably hit Thursday and Friday nights, and I was telling you this morning, I wasn't joking, I had never seen a picture of a white Jesus until I, uh, uh, somewhere in college. I was like, what is that? Well, you know, we've been asking the question all, all through the city the last couple of weeks, am I too white to be your pastor? Just about everybody I talked with said, no, you're not too white to be my pastor. It does matter. It well, I think it does matter in the sense that uh, we want to go on Sunday and worship and pray and cohabitate with people mm. that are familiar with us. I think it's, again, I think it's easier for you to get around people that uh, you can assume have the same beliefs as opposed to taking the time and thinking and getting to know and introduce yourself to someone. And see, I think it's easy to find ways that we are different because we don't have, to, again, we don't have to put the work in to find out our similarities. I, I think at the bottom is, is what you always preaching about being relational. Mm -hmm. And there's a saying that I use in my business and in coaching, people don't care how much you know. You can have as many books about philosophy or spirituality until they know how much you care. People come to Christ from different ages, backgrounds, and so forth, and that's what makes being a Christian so strong. 
I guess I'm asking, am I, am I too white to be your pastor? Am I too black for your church? The white church is different than the black church. It's mm -hmm. definitely different. The content, certainly the singing. And, you know, JJ, I love him to death. If that kid sings Italian soprano one more time, I have no idea you're talking about, son. You need to watch Crush Groove and come out here or something. I don't know. <laughs> is there a hope for our church in this? I mean, you, you got to find a way. There's a way, you just have to find it. If it was easy, we would have solved this problem a long time ago and we'd be moving on to the next topic. Mm -hmm. Is there hope? Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Well, you'd say all sides need to come together, not just black, white, but it's black. Also, it's bad. more than, it's more, yeah. yeah, yeah. The days of black and white are so far gone. There's, you know, you got, you got uh, Asian and Hispanic. There's many facets to this topic. Our differences pale in comparison to what we have in common. And as Christians, that's Christ. Uh, following, believing, that, that's, that is that one common goal that we have and that one common thing that could bring us together. I appreciate you, you so can, much. You can preach to me anytime, white or black. <laughs> <laughs> well, I sure have learned a lot from you, Reggie. Thank you so much for sharing with me. I appreciate your friendship a lot. Ditto. Yeah, yeah good.